Tell me, Monsieur Lee, I have to, I'm afraid, ask the questions most obvious as well as the subtle ones. Did you know the combination of the safe belonging to your father? No, nobody did. But it would have been easy enough to discover. You must find out who did this awful thing, Mr. Poirot. You must find out. violent sort of blokes, these Africans. Europeans do not figure too badly in the arts of violence, Chief Inspector. Nah, but it gives you the creeps this place, doesn't it? You are too sensitive, mon ami. That's true. Chief Inspector. What is it, Poirot? We know of two possible motives for the murder of Monsieur Simeon Lee. One is a simple case of the theft of the diamonds. And the other is old Simeon's will. Did someone want him dead before he could make the changes he was threatening? Precisement. No, 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 no. You're going off if you do that. Now, grip the butt of the cue firmly and... Ah, oh, good morning. Mr. Harry Lee, I presume. And who are you? Chief Inspector Jack, Scotland Yard. Ah, brought in the big guns, have they? I'd like a word with Miss Estravados. Estrabados. Yes. In private. Don't let them bully you, kid. Now then, Miss Estra. Bados. Estra Bados, quite. You understand English all right, dear? My mother was English. I am really a very English person. Is your passport English? It is Spanish. We'd better have a look at that, if you don't mind. It's in my luggage, I think. So your grandfather sent for you to come from Spain, and you arrived here yesterday, is that right? Yes. Tell me, mademoiselle, when... Sorry, I was looking for Sergeant Coombs. Please, don't let me interrupt. When you first met your grandfather, what did you think of him? He was very, very old. He had to sit in a chair and his face was all dried up. But I like him all the same. I think that when he was a young man, he must have been very handsome. Like you. There you are, sir. I think I'd better go and find Sergeant Coombs. Now, these diamonds that have been stolen... Uh, they were not like diamonds. Just very ugly little stones. So he showed them to you, did he? Didn't give you any of them, I suppose? No. And I thought that one day he would, if I was very nice to him, and came often to sit with him. Because old men, they like very much young girls. Tell me, mademoiselle, who do you think stole them? Hobbery. Why do you say that? He has the face of a thief. His eyes go so, from side to side, and he listens at doors. Where were you when the crime was committed, Miss Estravados? I went up to my room. I remember the butler had just brought in the coffee. But I wanted a clean handkerchief, so I went upstairs. I was sitting at my dressing table, repairing my makeup. And then far away, I heard a scream and everybody running. And so I went too. I see. So you were all by yourself, up in your bedroom, when Simeon Lee died. Yes. Yes, I was. Whose room is this? 
It's that member of Parliament's and his wife's. You know what I think, Poirot? No, Chief Inspector. What is it that you think? I think this murder was done by a woman. That's what I think. And why is it that you think that? Right. Yes, sir. Simeon Lee was a frail old man, yes? Monsieur Simeon Lee was a man of the frailness extreme, right? Then how do you account for the furniture in his room being knocked about all over the shop like it was? I mean, he couldn't have put up much of a struggle against a man, could he? But against a woman... Ah, Chief Inspector, you have been thinking again. I have warned you of this before. Oh, well. But you know, seriously, Chief Inspector, all of the family, the women included, they will have alibis for the time of the murder. Well, the lovely Magdalena Lees is pretty flimsy, and it was her luggage we found the diamond case in. If I'd stolen the diamonds, do you really think I'd be stupid enough to leave the box in my own luggage? Would you tell us where you were at the time of the murder, Mrs. Lee? In the drawing room. In the drawing room with Mrs. Lydia Lee? Um, no, I, I'd come in here to telephone. Was anybody in the room with you? No. It was a private call. I was alone. How long were you in here, Madame Lee? What's it got to do with you? Just answer the question. How should I know? Fifteen minutes? Twenty? You know how long it takes to put a call through in the evening. It was a trunk call, then. Well, of course it was. You don't honestly think I'd know anybody in this godforsaken dump, do you? Well, one of them's lying. The lovely Magdalena can't have been in there alone making a phone call the same time as her husband was in there alone making a phone call. Exactly. Perhaps we should tax them with this together, Chief Inspector. <laughs> Here's another thing I've been thinking, Poirot. Boy! On the desk in my room you'll find my spectacles. In your room, madam? Oh, there's something not quite English about this murder. Come This throat slitting. Not quite our style. What do you have then, Warren? Well, that's very kind of you, Chief Inspector. A glass of dry white wine. What? Um, Muscadet, perhaps? Well, they might have some cider. <laughs> <laughs> 